perhaps tell the world what's happening, because I'm not sure everybody knows, but uh, very, very special country, uh, so many friends, and uh, you're doing a great job. Very popular man doing a wonderful job. The people love him, and that's very important. And uh, thank you very much for being with us. Thank you, Mr. President. I just want to say thanks very much for, um, uh, for meeting us again. It's an enormous privilege for Ireland as a small country to have this annual meeting on account of St. Patrick's Day and a uh, chance to um, make even closer and tighter the bonds between the U.S. and uh, Ireland. I particularly want to thank you for uh, your help with our um, with the plants uh, in the west of Ireland where hundreds of jobs were threatened as a result of the Russian sanctions and you know, with the help of the administration we were able to save those jobs. So thank you very much for that. They don't, they don't know about that. They, <laughs> they do that. <laughs> they don't know about what I'm, I do. I'm <laughs> and I uh, look forward to talking to you later about Brexit, right, giving you our perspective yeah. on it, and the real importance of protecting the good Friday agreement and uh, the really hard work piece uh, in Northern Ireland. And um, look forward to talking to you a little bit, bit about immigration as well, uh, and also um, about, uh, about trade. And uh, how I would like to see a uh, trade deal done between the US and the EU. Uh, we've done one with Japan, we've done one with Canada, and we've done um, one with the regular deal with the US. Okay, well, we'll see, because the EU, as you know, has been very tough to deal with. And frankly, been, uh, it's been very one-sided for many, many years. And so we're changing that around. And, uh, we're, we're starting to uh, maybe get somewhere. If we don't, we'll, we'll win anyway. But I, I do appreciate you saying that. And again, it's a great honor to have you. Fantastic. Thank you. Mr. President, do you support our position on Brexit? I'm not going to comment on Brexit. I can tell you it's a very complex thing that's going on right now. It's tearing a country apart. It's actually tearing a lot of countries apart. And it's a shame that it has to be that way. But uh, I think we will stay uh, right in our lane. We're doing fantastically as a country. Our economy is booming with the envy of the world. Uh, other economies are not doing well, and we're doing uh, record business. So uh, we're very happy about that. And uh, it's really great to have the Prime Minister of Ireland with us. Mr. President, your reaction to Beto O'Rourke, your reaction to Beto O'Rourke's announcement today, Mr. President? Well, I think he's got a lot of hand movement. I've never seen so much hand movement. I said, is he crazy or is that just the way he acts? So uh, I've never seen hand movement. I watched him a little while this morning doing, I assume it was some kind of a news conference, uh, and I've actually never seen anything quite like it. Study it. I'm sure you'll agree. Mr. President, who's Everybody the bigger threat, 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 Beto O'Rourke or Joe Biden? President. Who's the bigger threat, Beto O'Rourke or Joe Biden? I just say whoever it is, I'll take him on. Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, Mr. President, 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 whoever it is, I'll take him or her on. And I think with the economy doing so well, with all of the things we've done, with the tax cuts, the biggest in the history of our country, tax cuts, with people having a lot more money in their pocket, with their 401ks hitting record numbers. They've never had, they've never been considered great investors by their wives or by their husbands, whatever it may be, and now they're considered great investments. Mm -hmm. But the market's hitting almost new highs, and I have all of the records, every single record I have, every single record for the stock market. So uh, I think it's gonna be very tough to do. If you look at African American, if you look at uh, Hispanic or Asian unemployment, we have the best records in history, in the history of unemployment, we have the best records. Uh, so I think it's going to be tough for somebody, but you know what? Whoever it is, it makes no difference to me whatsoever. Are you coming to Ireland? Well, I'll be coming at some point during the year. I missed it last time, and I would have loved to have been there. And it's a special place, and uh, I have a very warm spot for doing that. I will tell you that, and it's uh, just a great place. Should the Mr. President, yesterday you made your decision about the Boeing planes. How long do you think that they will be grounded? Oh, I hope it's going to be for a short period of time, and I hope it's, uh, look, they have to find out what it is. The biggest thing is they have to find out what it is. I'm not sure that they know, but I thought we had to do it. We had to take a cautionary route. The grounding of the planes yesterday was a big thing, as you know, and you're involved with Boeing. Yeah, we the, the grounding is a big thing, and it's a, a great company. It's a truly great company, and hopefully they'll all figure it out very quickly. It's, it's, a, big, it's a big decision. It's also one of our largest exporters. Uh, one of our uh, 
you know, truly one of the truly great companies in the world. They have to figure it out fast. They know that. They're under great pressure. Mr. Why is the more great support so for Greg's initially? Are you still a great supporter of Greg's? Well, I was. I, I, it wasn't that I was a supporter. I predicted it was going to happen, and I, I was right. And people laughed when I predicted it, and they won by about two points. And uh, I was standing out on Turnberry. And uh, we had a press conference, and people were screaming. That was the day before, if you remember. I think you were there. And people were screaming. And I said, no, I think it's going to happen. And people were surprised I made the prediction, and people, because President Obama made the opposite prediction. And I was right. And I will tell you, uh, I'm surprised at how badly it's all gone from the standpoint of the negotiation. But uh, I gave... Uh, the Prime Minister, my ideas on how to negotiate it. And I think you would have been successful. She didn't listen to that, and that's fine. I mean, if she's got to do what she's got to do, but I think it could have been negotiated in a different manner, frankly. I hate to see it being, everything being ripped apart right now. I don't think another vote would be possible because it would be very unfair to the people that won that say, what are we going to take another vote? So that would be tough. But I thought it would happen. It did happen, and uh, both sides are very, very, you know, they're cemented in. It's a, it's a tough situation. It's a, it's a shame. Frankly, it's a shame. There was no reason for that to happen. They could have had the vote, and it should have gone smoothly. Unfortunately, it didn't. Very complicated issue. And actually, the issue uh, on the border of Ireland is uh, one of the most complex points. Do you think it should be extended to get more time? Well, I think they're going to probably have to do something, because uh, right now they're in the midst of uh, a very short do you support Ireland's position? Do you support Ireland's position? I'd like to see that whole situation with Brexit work out. I'd like to see, so, uh, you know, we're talking to them about trade. Uh, we could do a very big trade deal with the UK. We're also renegotiating our trade deal with the European groups and, you know, literally individual nations and also with the whole. Uh, but but it's very sad to see what's happening there, and there was no reason. And I'm sure they are sure you agree with that. Do you have any feeling on? Would you like to express your feeling on that? Yeah. Well, Maybe I should not make yeah, that. Well, well, we have a different opinion, President. Um, I, I, I regret that Brexit's happening, and the UK uh, was a really important part of the European Union, um, but they're going now, uh, and that's their decision. Uh, but the most important thing for us in Ireland is that their decision to leave. Uh, shouldn't cause any problems in Northern Ireland where people actually vote to stay uh, and that we shouldn't have a hard border uh, or uh, anything to disrupt the peace process. Uh, and also we want to make sure that we still have friction and trade between uh, Britain and Ireland because so I, I believe in free trade and I think it'll be two years until the United Kingdom sorts itself out. But in the meantime, the European Union is available to right. talk, talk trade with uh, the and, US. And we're talking about trade with the European Union. They've been very, very tough over the years. They uh, were unwilling to negotiate with the Obama administration. And they were unwilling before that, to be honest. I'm not just blaming President Obama. But they're willing to talk to us. And if they don't talk to us, we're going to do something that's going to be pretty severe economically. We're going to tear up a lot of their products coming in because the European Union treats us very, very unfairly. I have to say that. Very, very. They treat the United States, and they have been for many years, for decades.